Okay, this morning I'm going to make a, a short video um, concerning uh, parting off or cutting off using the uh, TAG micro lathe. Okay, I had a comment on the last video or the one before that about somebody that was having difficult time parting off and they told me there was a huge amount of chatter uh, trying to do that and I'm thinking that um, they may have been using this this type of tool holder uh, that the TAG puts out to steal a uh, tool post and it takes a, a regular size blade um, I think that must be a sixty thousandths or something and this this doesn't this tool holder um, won't hold a thinner blade well, I find with a tag, um, you need a thin blade. Um, so, what I've got in here, this is my spring go-to holder for parting off. This thing, these spring tool holders are bulletproof. And these are shop built. I built one for the tag and one for the, um, the mini mill. So, I've got a piece of 7 8 rods uh, chucked up in here. And I've already cut off a piece. Um, uh, prior prior to this so I'm going to make a short video and I'm going to cut off another little piece here I noticed this this thing has to be exactly on center and um, the way this this tool post is built um, if, if it's not you need to shim it a little bit uh, one way or the other so I'm not sure. It looks like it's pretty close to on center, but when I cut the last piece off, I see there's a little nub left there. So it's it's not exactly. But as far as the chatter and stuff, um, this pretty much eliminates it for me most of the time. Uh, you you know, there are things that can happen, and and you'll get chatter, or or if you feed too fast. Um, it, it'll it'll stop on you because this is just a little dinky lathe very small uh, power involved so uh, my hands gonna be in the way making this video because I got to keep oil on this so I, that's why I'm letting you see what's going on uh, before before starting to cut and I'm not sure what RPM I'm running at because I don't have any way to test it um, so anyway, with that said, um, I'm I'm gonna make this video, and uh, I think I've got it. I've got it a little groove there started, so we're good. And it's running fairly fast, actually. But I'm afraid if I slow it down, and this takes it it, it takes a lot of oil. And if you let if you let off on the cut, it'll chatter. But if you keep the cut steady and keep the oil to it, the, when, as soon as I let off, I have to go get some oil, right? I, got, I can't keep the feed going. My brain doesn't work that way, I guess. So we're making a steady cut through there. I don't expect it's going to take too long. I mean, it's not going to cut it off as fast as it would on the mini lathe or, or any larger lathe. But, uh, it's a pretty good sized chunk of steel to cut off on this little lathe. Of course, if you cut any piece of brass or aluminum off it, you don't even need to do anything. Just run it through there. You can run it at high speed almost to cut those... Uh, those uh, non-ferrous pieces of metal off, but for a piece of steel, you need the you need the, the oil and the constant feed. I didn't spend much time setting this up, so. I should zoom the camera out a little bit more so you can see my hand. You can get an idea of the feed rate. But you know, a couple of minutes if you threw a piece of 7 8 bar, 
Good job, pretty good. Oh. Well, I fed it a little bit too fast there. The diameter is getting smaller, so I figured I could feed it faster, but actually I need to speed up the delay a little bit probably. Also, the groove is getting pretty deep. I think I got room here. Hopefully I got room. Okay, we're down to the we're down to the very end. I don't know what's going to happen here. Whether the height of this, as I recall, I haven't used it for. Oh, there it comes right off. Okay, there you go. So you can see. So just a it's a forty thousandths thick blade, cutting off a piece of seven eighths, ten eighteen mild steel. And, um, you know, I don't know what the RPM is here, but um, anyway, that gives you an idea. You shouldn't have any problem at all if you've got the right kind of tool post. So, I don't know about this one, but this only holds a wider blade, and that's, that doesn't, I don't find that works really good cutting off steel on the, on the tag. So... Anyway, I'll call off and post this video. Maybe somebody will be interested and the person that hopefully the person that made the comment will um, will watch this video and get some some idea. But I think these spring tool holders are, are really bulletproof. Let me um, zoom out a little bit and um, you can I've got um, the one for the the one for the tag has got two lockdown screws so you need you need rigidity to to part off things so you you can't have any slop in the carriage or or in the tool post you know the whole thing has to be rigid this is the one for the mini lathe made a little different but basically it does the same thing and it's my go-to parting Oh wait a minute, that's the, that's the wrong one, I'm sorry. Grab the wrong one. That's for... Here it is. I, I'm sorry about that. So there it is. This is the one for the mini lathe. And, um, and I've got a regular size um, uh, tool bit in there. So you can, see, you can see that. They're actually pretty simple to build. And um, I might have some more information um, on one of my playlists, I don't remember, but I remember at the time when I made a video for this, um, you know, I was, I was just trying to put the thing together. So, anyway, with that, I'll call off and, and post this video. Hope somebody will get some, some information out of it. But it works. This thing works really well. I don't have any problems with it at all. So, I'll call off. Thanks for watching. Bye.